Vegito! Okay, so in this one, I am bringing to you guys a Chrono Crystal Guide for the Part 2 of the Legends Festival 2023. We did receive this LF Goku Bardock Tag Unit Banner. Uh, arguably one of the worst banners to ever release, having only one brand new sparking character, a horrible step up format, no tickets in the exchange shop. Uh, just overall, very low value. And if you guys want to summon anyways, because this unit is literally peak. Yeah, if you guys want Crystals to summon on this, or even return back to the Part 1 banners, which are still insanely valuable, having these characters even be some of the best, the best in the game. Or if you guys want to even save for the Part 3, this video is literally for you. I'm going to be breaking down pretty much all the new events, all the new ways to get Chrono Crystals, and all the existing methods already in the game. So make sure to drop a like in the video and subscribe if you guys are new here because I do upload every single day with Legends content. I'm not going to waste any time. The number one thing you guys want to make sure you guys are doing is collecting these Legends Festival medals, right? You get up to 3,000 Chrono Crystals throughout the entirety of Legends Fest. And if you've already collected these, then, you know, you got your job done. If you guys want the fastest and most efficient methods to grind these Legends Fest medals, make sure to check out this video right here because I did break that down for you guys to be able to quickly bang out those missions and then obviously get the Chrono Crystals uh, provided from these missions. And uh, to collect these missions, you're going to go to the Missions tab right here and uh, go to Events and scroll till you see Legends Festival 2023 Special Missions. And then here, you're going to have all 3,000 Chrono Crystals acceptable at the different metal mark. I believe it's 300, 500, and then 800, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, otherwise, you can literally go check for yourself in this exact tab. But the first method you guys want, and by the way, this is actually one of the methods for the Legends Fest medals, is to grind this raid right here. We have had five or four. We're on the fourth consecutive uh, raid right now for the Legends Festival. And through here, in the exchange shop, you're going to be able to receive 700 Chrono Crystals, right? So obviously, we're in the fourth one right now. You're still able to grind this as of the upload of this video. I've already personally collected mine. And then we do have another confirmed raid um, after this one does end in the next three to four days, four days specifically. So you have time to get not only these 700 crystals, but the next 700 crystals. So we do have a total of 1400 Chrono Crystals right there. If you guys need help grinding the raid, make sure to join my Discord because um, in there you're going to be able to get a partner to constantly rematch with and be a lot more efficient when grinding the raid, of course. But right here you get to actually check out um, what the boosted characters are, what's going to give you more metal drops, and uh, the limited time reward does guarantee a Legends Fest medal. So you want to make sure you're doing these daily to not only get your Legends honors, I mean, this is the um, the actual raid number four, you, were, you would be able to get these 600 multi-Z power. So I'm assuming a lot of you guys have been already grinding this, uh, but it's right here. Make sure to run any of these units as your main unit, um, depending on the stars you have. So the max amount of stars, the more medals you're going to get corresponding to these characters right here. And then obviously fill up your party accordingly. So you get just more of these green medals that you do see right here. And then more efficiently clearing out the exchange shop. But this is the first method. Uh, the next method is this brand new um, event that we do get every couple of weeks is the Legends Battle Royale, right? I just dropped as of today. And um, every win that you get on this event, you're going to be able to collect one of these victory medals. And via the victory medals, you're going to be able to exchange it for all these rewards that you do see here, including Chrono Crystal. So um, easy rewards, I think, you know, just make the lineup. I don't know what the actual uh, tag is for this. So tag Saiyans, you have to have a strict Saiyan party. Um, any Saiyans should be able to work here. If not, um, it has prerequisites all listed in this tab right here. But I believe it's just a full Saiyan comprised party and it's special rules as well. 30% to episodes game originals base health. Uh, greatly reduces damage of combos that include steps or similar actions. Wow. So um, just a special rule to kind of, you know, spice things up in the actual play here. You're not supposed to step or you're actually going to reduce your damage. So that's kind of wild. But yeah, get your Chrono Crystals from that. Treasure Battle is basically like a free game. It does not affect your ranked online status or your RP that you're getting. Every one of these bouquets that you guys do get from doing your dailies on the Treasure Battle. And you're going to be able to go into the exchange shop and collect about a thousand, I do believe. And then it does refresh from the ones that I remember previously during festivals or a celebration. So make sure you guys are doing this before it refreshes. It's not confirmed to refresh, but um, they usually, you know, 
with celebrations like this, a lot of things do refresh. I'm actually expecting Hoi Poi to come back, even though it hasn't been confirmed to come back. And that's like another, um, I think, piece that will give you Chrono Crystals. It might. But then again, we don't have Hoi Poi up right now, so I cannot actually confirm that for you guys all right one thing here is just by logging in you guys have a chance at chrono crystal so you do have a daily spin a wheel spin that does provide crystals on step one and two so this is like a every three day thing the first second day you have a chance at all these rewards right here including 100 crystals and then step three gets a lot easier you're getting either a box 100 chrono crystals or lfz power so just make sure you guys are logging in every day during legends fest because you never know you could receive just crystals simply by logging in. It's like the easiest thing to do. Legends Tuesday. Every Tuesday, you're getting one of these medals. Make sure you guys are logging in every day. Because the more medals you get, the more crystals that you're able to exchange that with. Bardock Zenkai is coming in a couple of days from after when I upload this video. Usually when we get a Zenkai, we do get a gauntlet. And within that, you get a couple of hundred of Chrono Crystals. I believe it's around five to seven hundred. I'm not sure in what range. Do this Ape Vegeta one if you haven't already because it's still available as of I'm uploading this video. You do complete it. It takes literally now probably less than 30 minutes to do literally with how many stages it gives 300 crystals right there rewards total um it actually shows here so um it gives 300 that's it uh doesn't it correspond with missions i could have sworn it gave more crystals bro all right one quick side note that i want to talk on is the mega upgrade bonanza for equipments if you guys want me to break down some of the best equipments for you to grind while this is available let me know in the comment section you only have five days left to make the most out of this so you guys can get your godly equips or even just higher ranking items completed a lot easier and i'm actually thinking about doing this so let me know in the comments if this is something you guys want to see grinding the regular ranked pvp season because you do get rewards for where you place in your rankings here so obviously you're going to get these featured items which are legends festival medals and they're all rng based so some games are going to receive it sometimes you're not and um what do drop guaranteed are these featured items right here and I believe you can actually exchange those for Chrono Crystals in this specific exchange shop. So if you scroll down here, it should show, yeah, right here, other featured rewards. Basically, you're able to exchange these four Chrono Crystals in the exchange shop. Not only that, you're going to get end of season rewards, right? So this is everything included in the exchange shop. If you guys don't know where the exchange shop is, you might be a new player. All the exchange shops are located right here for this specific one, the Festival Duel Season 2. You go right here and you're going to be able to exchange for chrono crystals but if you end in any of these seasonal uh ranking details we take a look right here you're going to be able to get a thousand chrono crystals if you're placing in the top 1000 top 1000 3000 you're getting 900 crystals if you're just indulging or playing the game you're going to get some form of crystals right and then included in your group ranking this is an addition to your end of season ranking right here so wherever you place in your group you can check your group by backing out clicking this ranking button and then checking your group placement which is going to show you where you do wow i am not anywhere good in my ranking right now so you definitely know i'm going to get to grinding but it is very early season so is going to be the legends ranking right here this is a monthly method just complete these daily missions and then of course grind up anything in the game points wise you do grinding events you're grinding pvp raid co-op anything of the above you're going to be actually stacking your points here um and yeah, just do these missions. And then in the end, if you're placed at a certain ranking, as you can see right here, top world ranking crystals, you're able to actually get a couple of hundreds of crystals right there and more rewards for your group ranking, of course. But this is a monthly reward. The next placement is going to be the Tournament of Power. It's also a couple of weeks um, this, uh, season. I'm sure you guys already know how this works. But um, I'm going to show you guys my team really quickly. The team that I'm personally using. Oops, I did not mean to okay i'm glad that i didn't do anything there so if i show you guys my team switch out so this is currently what i'm running for this um you don't have to copy me i actually haven't updated my team in a long time but i've always able to get majority of the end of season rewards which is if you hit top um a top percentage you're getting a thousand chrono crystals so this is something you guys want to do take seriously I personally don't take it seriously and get the crystals. I'm not even running a crazy team or anything. It's just GT. So season ranking reward, you're getting 100. The ranking reward, you're getting another 1,000. And if you reach the top um, successfully all the way up here, you're going to get another 300 Chrono Crystals. So around 1,400 or 
1400 yeah 1400 crystals i got a quick match adventures grind your adventures these right here um could drop 100 chrono crystals this is just rng related so um get lucky and you're able to get chrono crystals this also helps out with your overall um legends ranking reward it helps out with your guild so definitely run your adventures you guys because could be getting lucky in that sense this thing right here so we do have a plan every plan that you set up i would highly recommend you guys get the battle lovers plan it's the one that gives the most crystals and um it's giving you 500 free crystals if you just bang out all the missions and then if you get the premium plan which i personally do every time because it's just really high value it's giving another 1500 on top of that so a total of 2000 chrono crystals um, if you're banging out all these missions right here, which I'm actually going to collect because I've completed it. So I'm getting 600 from this last nice step right there. And then it's done until the season's over, which is another seven days, which shows you how fast it does, you know, take to complete that actual, um, all those missions. Take a look at the daily stamp rally. This is something that you guys complete in a 14 day period and you're getting a thousand chrono crystals for it. So Make sure you guys are completing this because it's really easy. All you got to do is your dailies. Not forget, I have to complete a bonus battle and then you're getting the next check mark off right there. And I'm going to make it to day eight. But a thousand Chrono Crystals literally just for doing nothing but your dailies. This should take less than five minutes right here. Um, I mean, it might take a little bit more just including this PvP or co-op match. But very, very easy stuff to do tab. But if you take a look at all the other tabs, this does correspond with pretty much any event in story mode missions, which do give you X amount of crystals as well, right? One thing I will note is every Tuesday, you're going to get a medal. And um, if you collect all your medals, of course, if you get four, you're getting 100 crystals right here. If you get seven, you're getting another set of chrono crystals right there. Um, and we take a look at the exchange shop, corresponding exchange shop. You can actually exchange these metals for even more crystals. It can be exchanged eight times. So you're able to get 800 crystals if you do not care about the multi Z power. I personally pick up the multi Z power every time. But if you guys want to go out of your way and get the crystals, if that's more important for you, eight times you're getting 800 crystals from there. And then another two to 300 from the missions that you just saw. So a total of a thousand crystals or a little bit over that um, battle royale I mentioned earlier. So you're getting 300. Like I said, from that, that is the exchange shop for it. Treasure battle. I got a one left. Um, it doesn't say, or it says the end time right here. So we do have almost, we have nine days from today before this does reset. It's really easy to do. Let's do your treasures and then scrolling down some of these events i was mentioning events in the emissions if we take a look at the events tab a lot of these can potentially be giving you guys crystals these all definitely do so you just click them here and it's just like story mode you're new i'm going to show you guys story mode in a second just go complete any of these missions you're not only going to be completing these and getting crystals but they're going to correspond with the missions and you're going to be able to get a lot of crystals strictly from those um so check out any of these missions tab they're actually going to bless you up um, this one is a new event right here, so I might as well show you guys what I'm talking about. It does give crystals for every single, you know, tab that you guys do here, as you guys can see. And then I think the Piccolo one does as well, if you guys have not completed that just yet. Along with, let me check if it does. It does give crystals for every completion. So if you want to grind crystals free to play, there you go. One of the best event crystal um, things that I think people forget about that exist in the game are these in the back. So if you have any of these characters, this is literally giving you a ton of crystals. And personally, I've already maxed out on them. But for every time you complete it, your first time reward, you're getting 50 crystals along with the extra crystals for the missions, right? So every one of these, if you complete all of them, it's giving you a total of 150, 300, uh, 450, 600 chrono crystals. All of these, obviously, you need to have the characters and the stars for it. Um, it does in their pretty accessible character. So a lot of people will have these cards and there's how many of them? One, two, three, uh, four, five, five different of these. So that's a couple of thousands of crystals right there. Say if you do have these units, you have the stars. They're pretty old at this point. So I'm assuming a lot of you guys do have these, the Majin Buu one. Yeah, these are really old characters. So I recommend you guys going in here and clearing these up. I feel like a lot of people don't actually know that those exist there a lot of these like i said just check out your events you don't know what actually provides you crystals and some of them actually gives you i'm assuming a lot of you guys have collected this already if you're free to play but um just in case you don't know check out your missions right you go all the way to the special tab um and you're doing the more legends missions if you're doing story mode 
there you go. Complete more challenges in the story mode. You're getting way more crystals, right? So obviously you need to complete a certain amount. And then Legends Friendship Ranking. So I'm going to break down those two right now. Go to story mode. And it's the same thing with the events. These actually correspond perfectly um, with the missions because you get actually 10 Chrono Crystals for completion. And then you get all these actual challenge crystals as well. So you're looking at about, I would say... 30 to 40 crystals per run and there's a ton if you're a new player you're basically eating because you have all of this to complete plus the semi hard mode i think if you go all the way down here there's a hard mode so you have just endless amount of free to play crystals to be getting i know a lot of you guys are just starting to play the game friendship ranking which i was mentioning before the best way to level up your friendship is to go and do these every single day with characters that you have low friendship ranking because it does give you more than if you have a higher friendship ranking so a lot of new characters a lot of old just random characters that you don't obviously use um you're going to be getting quick you know just a couple of crystals off this and this is like the endless grind method if you guys need to know that i actually have a separate video for that just type in um unlimited chrono crystal guide and this is probably the method to do if you have the time grind this and you have unlimited chrono crystals i think the number one friendship stage that you guys can do is if you go to story mode then you go all the way down to this majin boo one and then you scroll all the way down to the one i think i've completed already this one is it not this one it should be one of these right here with the Super Saiyan 3 and, uh, you know, run these equipments as well. Please do run these equipments because um, it just gets you where you need to be a lot faster. So, so use all three of these because you're getting more percentages, more friendship points gained. It just m means more Chrono Crystals for you guys. So grind this specific event right here and it's going to make that possible for you. Um, one of the two finishing methods that I'm thinking of right now is grinding equipments. I'm um, just getting more S, A, Z pluses, just grinding items naturally. If you have erasers to burn, which we all do because of the Legends raid, Legends Fest raids, grind these equipments because they correspond with the missions that I have been talking about throughout the video. You go all the way down here to Z missions. I think you actually max out at some point for like the Z plus, uh, the other ones, but just getting more equipment upgraded. The A, I guess, is never ending because i still have access to them so the more equipments i personally grind access to more crystals and i believe it does go down from godly you know it could just be that since it's um you know ever since the godly updates refreshed i've already done the godly z plus z maybe even s i don't see the s anymore was another method that actually taps out for a lot of veteran players is soul boosting your unit so if you're a new player just soul boost everybody in the game and you're getting corresponding methods right here. So I don't actually have this guy soul boosted. You would go to a character, unlock all, boom, boom, boom. And if you guys need help getting souls or things for this, exchange shops are your best friend. Uh, and resources are super easy to get during Legends Fest. But you would go to the same exact location in the missions. Hope that's not super, that's super loud. My bad, bro. <laughs> My bad. Go to Z missions and you would literally collect them right here. Um, by the way, friendship levels. Um, I actually tapped out on it, so that's why I'm looking for it, but I finished it way long ago. Like, years ago, I've tapped out on that method, so highly recommend that method. Checking these exchange shops, because even something like this that never goes away, this resets every couple of days or week, I believe, and you're able to get 300 Chrono Crystals just by doing your co-op daily, so make sure to do your co-op grinds as well. Check every location. If you guys have any comments, or questions leave a comment with that being said the probable last thing i'm gonna mention for you guys is to always check your gifts you don't ever know when legends could potentially be giving you guys rewards and they actually have throughout this festival so you might have chrono crystals lurking in your gift box make sure to accept things that you're able to here and yeah leave a like on the video subscribe i'll see you guys in the very next one stay frosty i'm not promoting any chrono crystal purchases but yeah i'll see you guys my flight, so you don't gotta wait on me